Greg, talk to me about this new game that some people have been talking about called Marvel's Avengers. You played the beta, you spent a little time on it. Um, talk to me about what your reaction has been thus far. I assume you're going to be on the, the beta this coming weekend as well. I am. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Like, I, I've been waiting for this game for a long time. And I've been a huge fan of all of the Marvel games. I'm talking about from a Marvel Alliance 1, 2, even the one that came out last year, um, Alliance 3 on the Nintendo Switch. That's actually one of the reasons why I bought Nintendo Switch. So this is a game that I've always enjoyed. And what I remember saying before, like when Anthem came out, I was like, man, they can easily do uh, an Avengers games like this and then they break the news yeah. and really do it so because of that I might be a little biased because I've been waiting for it for such a long time and I'm a, I'm a fan of the series but playing the beta I would say is probably the best beta I've ever played and I've played oh, wow. a lot of betas you know um, I found myself just playing it the missions over and over and over and over again um, you know, playing with different characters, but I really enjoyed myself. And because of that, I will be playing it again this weekend. And how many, um, how many hours did you get in on it? I probably easily got in about maybe about 13, 14 hours in. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's, you spent a considerable amount of time. Yes. Like that. Yes. I was putting in that work. I was losing sleep. That's how <laughs> great it was for me. So let's walk through the overall gameplay because, I haven't played it yet, uh, mm -hmm. but I'm obviously interested in doing so. But one one of the things I'm hearing online is that there are some comparisons to Destiny, uh, which I was I was frankly a little surprised by. Um, do you think some of those comparisons are fair? Uh, do you see that? Um, yeah, because this game is supposed to be like a looter, and Destiny is a looter where you try to get as much gear or get the best gear. Um, so in comparison to that, it's almost just like that. I mean, same thing like the division. The gameplay is driven based on the type of gear that you have. What I will say is the gear system for me in this game, what I will admit is a little bit boring. That's kind of a big deal. Yeah, it is. Um, but like for me, I wasn't brought towards the actual looting system. You know, in fact with destiny and all those other games i'm not really the type of person to really try to do the grinding for different type of loot that's not what brings me back what brings me back is that the game is just actually enjoyable it's fun i i did that that long grind on those looters mm -hmm. shooters like destiny and um the division and because of i invested so much time just in getting certain gear I tend to not come back for the second game. You know, mm. I played the Division 2 probably for, you know, a couple days. And then I wasn't even interested in, in um, Destiny 2. Doing the right. grind again. Because it is a yeah. grind just to get loot. So, yeah. yes, the, the looting to me is boring. But that's just for mm -hmm. me. I don't really like looting. You know, and then the other thing is what makes the looting boring in this situation is that none of it is cosmetic. You know, so say you pick up a belt, mm. but the, your belt doesn't change. Oh, you. It doesn't have an impact on your, like your, your exactly. outfit. So how, how are you seeing? Because I've seen several different iterations of the Iron mm -hmm. Man armor. So how are you seeing those different looks if it's not those are just costumes oh wow so how are you get, picking up the costumes? so honestly they haven't dove into that and i haven't unlocked any costumes or anything like that but i know like okay. one of the costumes you get if you actually um pre if you uh, reserved a certain copy of the game you know like a deluxe oh, wow. edition then okay. you get the i think the obsidian suits or whatever which actually look pretty mm -hmm. sweet but I think right. there's other challenges you can do to unlock costumes, but it's not from picking up, you know, loot off the ground. But but, you know, getting back to just kind of the core mechanics, because it seems like that is what someone like yourself really vibes off of. Um, the the core gameplay mechanics is something that you're enjoying. Yes, right now. I, I am 
thoroughly enjoying it. The fighting, <laughs> the um, you feel yes. like Iron Man yes. when you're playing Iron like, Man. Like they do a <laughs> really great job with that. Which is like that. That has to be. That has to be uh, acknowledged. I mean, like loot and obviously, obviously that's mm-hmm. a thing. But I, I would almost assume that that is something that at least I hope can be patched. I'm obviously not a. I'm a gamer. I'm not a game designer, right. <laughs> you know. Um, but it, my hope is at least that something something in that realm can be adjusted to to treat yeah. that a little bit more. But if if the core mechanics of the game are working, then that's yeah. fantastic because I would love to yeah. play Iron like, Man. I, th- I honestly feel amazing. like they or Black Widow. Or that, yeah, that I feel like they put in a loose system to try to attract people to grind to bring them back so then that way they have something to do and and grind it out i don't really think they need that right. aspect in this game because it's just genuinely fun i think they should have it where mm-hmm. they have like higher difficulties you know and things like that mm-hmm. and then you can you know they have an extreme mode and a super extreme mode which you know i think would be better you know bring in more hordes and enemies and in that way, it's a it's a better actual combat system that's bringing you back. Like that's the challenge, not just right. to get the best gear, but to fight the biggest, baddest, the the most enemies as you possibly can. You know, I think that's what brings in the great content. So I was just curious what uh, characters you played as, um, who your favorite, mm-hmm. you know, were. Um, and uh, and obviously, like what missions that you played, you know, I I think I have a good sense of, you know, what mm-hmm. was available. Uh, I think there was like um, there was a Miss Marvel and Bruce Banner board. And then there was obviously like the 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 bridge board That's that right. we've seen in all the, the gameplay and everything. Um, tell me kind of your reaction to those those missions, those set pieces. Um, did they live up to? kind of what they've Got been you. pitching. So, um, first off, my, I will have this. I play with everybody. I play with the Hulk. You play with Thor for a, just on the bridge mission um, for a split second. And then you also play with mm-hmm. um, uh, Captain America for a smidgen. And for the smidgen that I played Captain America, I really enjoyed him. I'm, I like the close quarters actual fighting combat type. Um, yeah, but then I played extensively with uh, Iron Man, Black Widow, um, the Hulk, and then also uh, Miss Marvel. So I played a great deal with them. And like mm-hmm. you were saying before, like when you're playing with Iron Man, you feel like Iron Man. When you're playing with the Hulk, you're destructive <laughs> and picking up enemies and beating enemies <laughs> the least. with the enemy, <laughs> you know. so. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, but I would have to say my favorite person is actually so far Black Widow. Like, yeah, I love her. Oh, like word. Iron Man okay. is dope. And he got a lot of arsenal uh-huh. and lasers, missiles, pulse, um, blasts and things like that. Yeah. But it's just something about for me, playing as Black Widow is just is amazing, is different, you know. Yeah, she, she's she's uh dope. she's pretty fast. She's quick. She's focused on hand to hand combat, but then she has like three different guns at her disposal. It's funny because I I now that I think about it, like I could see where that would be like really fucking enjoyable, <laughs> you know? Yeah, like, yeah. She she yeah. I saw some gameplay footage where she kind of she was giving off like uh, Laura Croft vibes a little bit, you know? It was like the dual put guns, this way. but then she's like running yeah, around yeah. and like whipping motherfuckers with their, you know, her, her, her legs yeah. and, and whatnot you know it's great i put it to you this way it feels like you're playing as batman and laura croft mm-hmm. and no nah, that's it that's it that's batman a good combination. and laura croft <laughs> and maybe a little bit of spider-man okay. because she has this whip where she can you know grapple enemies and then she can jump and toggle to different enemies in the air so it's almost like a little bit of a spider-man uh-huh. You know, but I thoroughly enjoy her, especially from being able to to zip from enemy to enemy really quickly. You know, some characters can't do that, you know, which they should like Iron Man. You know, he should be able to 
you know, jet across really, really fast to different enemies. But at the same time, there's a balancing factor where you can't make him that much better than everybody. Yeah, that's always the, you know, again, I'm Mm -hmm. a gamer, not a game designer. But, you know, when I saw the gameplay footage from the beta, I, I thought to myself, like, yeah, Iron Man should be faster than this. But yeah, if you make him exactly. faster, I can see where it breaks the game. Like you need to be able to yeah. kind of contain. The, him think about a this bit, way: the know? Hulk is yeah. very, very fast. He's extremely fast. Um, you know, when you see the movies and things like that, Duke can jump across countries and stuff like that. But in the video game setting, if he's that fast, he's able to clear out a bunch of enemies take care of them and then run over and kill the people that you fight. And that makes a bad experience for everybody. So what about the missions? Uh, what missions were in the beta? Uh, how was the beta set up? Like, just talk to me structurally about like what the, how you experienced the beta. Okay. So there were different kinds of missions. Like as you seem to have the single player missions where it's more like there's more cutscenes, you're more immersed into that character uh, so there was a couple missions where you was just a hog, and then there was the mission where you was for the majority of time uh, Miss Marvel. So those I think is going to be a good part of the game because again you're being immersed into that character where it seems like you're almost watching an Avengers movie. Um, but then they have the multiplayer aspect where they have different kind of mission types where you have to actually control a certain point or defeat a certain amount of waves. And then they actually even have like almost like a sandbox open world mission where they might place you into a city. There's different places in the city you can go to find more gear or attack different bosses for bonus XP or anything like that. So this is the first time we're seeing like a a fully fledged Marvel game. I, you know, since really the launch of the MCU, how how much mm-hmm. of these characters do you feel like have been in terms of like their personality, not just kind of like the archetype and visuals, but do you feel like this is like a a a, a, a branch from the East the the MCU? I will say minimal, minimal, like, okay. because with the, with these characters, I don't like for an example, Black Widow. I don't feel like Scarlett Johansson. At okay. all. Okay. Um, reason being, they gave Black Widow a heavy Russian accent. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. So when mm-hmm. I hear her, sometimes, I will say that sometimes I'm a little bit annoyed. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, it's like, oh, yeah, she what she is Russian. You yeah. Know? Russian so, spy. And what about Miss Marvel? Because um, I, I believe this is the first time we're seeing her um, in a video game like this. And obviously, she hasn't been in the MCU um how is her combat how is her you know performance in the game you know how's Mm -hmm. the character um actually she's pretty good when it comes to like her character like she's really grounded as a human being Mm -hmm. like for an example you know she has this power and there's an event that happens how she receives her power they don't really go too much into it but you know she's not born with it you know, okay. but she is a teenager. She's not like a mutant. Or yeah, anything. yeah, she's not a mutant or anything like that. But she's a teenager where she ha- she's like in that awkward stage of wanting to fit in with everyone, you know. And because mm-hmm. of the comments that she made, the way that she talks, again, you got to remember she's a young girl. She at one point is questioning, like, man, I wish there was a cure. Because if then I can fit in as a normal person. Right. You know, so they they do a good job of establishing on who she is, what she what her mentality is like. It's funny because I, I I obviously immediately think of Mr. Fantastic yeah. when I when I see her her power set. Um and you know, when I saw that she was gonna be in the game, I obviously knew what I, to expect, but she kinda looks cool you know like i like she's able to to grow and i've seen her like stomp on people yeah. and then kind of do like these these like wrestling you know elbows on yeah. people and whatnot <laughs> you know so it looks it looks dope yeah what i will say um so far i'm not sure of the different kind of moves that you can like because i didn't get too deep with her but what i will say is i appreciate is that 
the move so far hasn't been ridiculous. Like, right. for an example, like when Mr. Fantastic, he would roll into a ball <laughs> and then yeah. he'd launch himself or, mm-hmm. you know, he would do some kind of – he just always seemed like a silly character to me. Right, But right. with her – Overdoing yeah, it. Yeah, but with her, you know, she might have a big hand and slap everybody into the wall with massive damage. You know, right. something practical. Or she her, right. her foot <laughs> might get big and she might stump on people. But she's not <laughs> she's not doing anything like wrapping her arms around everybody and yeah, right. it, it seems more it's practical. Not like wacky. Yeah, it's not wa- exactly. Exactly. So yeah. that's why I'm willing yeah. to try to give her a little bit more of a chance because I haven't mm-hmm. seen any like any wacky gameplay with her. Right, right. So, so general takeaways, like, are you, are you excited for the, the official release of the game coming up? It seems obviously you pre-ordered it, yep. so, you know, you, you'll be playing, um, but you feel, you feel hopeful for the, the final version of the game when it comes out. Yeah. I haven't put, like, I haven't dedicated time to a single game in a long time. Like okay. for an example, like I'm playing Ghost of Tsushima now, then I played The Last of Us. You know, I was able to beat those. Um, well, I haven't beat Ghost of Tsushima, but, you know, once you beat those, those games are, are over. But then you have right. games that you can continue to play online, multiplayer-wise, Call of Duty, things like that. I know for a fact that once this um, actual Marvel game comes out, I'm probably not going to play anything else at all, period. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Like, I already know... That is going to get like that. And unless something is game breaking, um, mm-hmm. as long as I can level up and have a, a goal to accomplish and play with friends and family, you know, I'm probably not going to play anything else for a long time. And is there is there anything out of this game that you would be worried about that you feel like uh, this could be a problem if they don't fix I know we talked a little bit about the looting, but that doesn't seem like that's a a huge kind of red flag for you. Yeah, not for me. But I wonder if you feel like it would be for others. I think the looting will be a problem for a lot of people, especially for those people who enjoy the looting and the grinding. I think it's Mm going to be a problem for them. For me, I'm not going to really care, you know, but um, the the one thing that I'm afraid of is I don't want to be fighting someone. And then the Hulk can take care of his business and then come and help me out when I don't want the help. Gotcha. You know, it's like essentially mm-hmm. stealing my kills like in other games. <laughs> like, dude, right. let me enjoy this battle unless I call on you. Mm-hmm. You know, that's where it's going to come into play with playing with people you know versus mm-hmm. playing with people you don't know. Because then the you, randos. Yeah, you get those people who just want to kill everybody. Yeah. You know, and I get it. Like you're strong, you're at a higher level, but let me enjoy the game as well. Yeah. So that's yeah. I, I just hope they really do a great job still making that balance where everybody can do their own thing still. And then we have it. Um, you know, it, it seems like you're excited for the game and, and obviously we'll be playing the second weekend. Uh any last words for the people out there? Yeah. Um so far I would say get the beta, try it out, hopefully you enjoy it. Um, the other thing is think about getting the PS5 because it's going to be worth it just to have Spider-Man. <laughs> um, but with that being said, thank you for uh, taking the time to listen. Let me know in the comments below if you agree or if you're excited after hearing this. Um, any feedback is appreciated. But again, thanks for the time, the love, the support, the patience. And I will holler at you guys later. Peace.